All right, here we go. Greg Kading, welcome back to Vlad TV. Hello. It's been some years. Yes, it has. A lot has happened since yep. your last interview. It feels like I was in this room yesterday. Right. But you weren't. <laughs> it's been a few years. It's been a few years. And since the last time you were here, Keefe D has been arrested for the murder of Tupac Shakur. Now, I've done a bunch of interviews during that time. And I've said I've essentially solved the Tupac case, which you had a little bit of an issue with, understandably. I don't know if I'd say an issue. I would simply say that, um, you know, it's an ambiguous term. Yes. And so, I, yeah, I credit you with all of the stuff you did. You did a tremendous amount of work uncovering different people's perspectives and their own experiences. And so I credit you with that. It's just an ambiguous term. Correct. I'm using it very loosely. I, I cannot solve any case. I'm not part of the police department. <laughs> I'm not part way. of the FBI, you know, regardless of what people may think. So all I could do is do interviews. So I used it very loosely. And listen, and I've said this multiple times, I really credit you with the most important evidence when it comes to the whole Keefe D situation, when you got the, the proffer agreement, the yeah. confession. And in, you know, in truth, I can't really accept the credit because it was, it was a uh, multi-person effort. So you know, I just happened to be the kind of the face of that effort. But re in reality, there was a bunch of people working together to try to get to where we got to. So I can't really take credit. It's more of a we mm. than an I. Why are you the only person that's actually putting your face out there? At the time that I wrote the book and started to tell the story, um, I was the only one in the task force that was retired at the time. Mm. And so that gave me the opportunity to kind of go public with it because other guys would have, you know, had some issues with their departments, um, you know, over divulging information on an unsolved case. Okay, what about now though? There's other other members are retired as well too, right? Yeah, but you you know, you see like Vlad, I'm sorry, you see like Vlad <laughs> uh, coming on with Brennan. Yeah. And Brennan was part of our task force. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, so he was one of the guys that was contributing to that effort. As, a, then, as Blondie? Blondie, yeah. Yeah, uh, rest in peace. Yep, Ex yeah. Um, but yeah, so other people have come forward since retiring. There's a guy named Mike Cowett, who was a sheriff's um, deputy that was helping out. He was one of the original guys back after the Tupac shooting that was involved in some of the Compton gang investigations. So other guys have kind of, oh, and my best pal, Darren Dupree, mm. he retires here very shortly, um, early January. So who knows? He may, he may be wanting to talk about his experiences with the case. Okay. Was there any backlash from active police, you know, uh, any sort of uh, authority when you start doing interviews and start putting out the, the book and, you know, the, the taped audio confessions and everything else like that? Yeah, there were mixed responses. Some people were very supportive. Other people, you know, just the, the, the cop cop guys, you know, were a little bit more, hey, you know, it's not right. You go and start talking about unsolved cases. But then you've got the other you know, side of that equation where people are like, hey, that's a great story. You should tell it. We support you. So you get different responses from different people. Got it. And, you know, when I say that I've essentially solved it, what I really meant was the interview I did with Keefe D was, I think, the most significant piece in terms of the amount of people they got to see it. Right. The most exposure. The most exposure. Mm -hmm. You know, that really told... The Keefe D involvement story from the very beginning as to, you know, growing up in Compton, how yeah. he knows Suge mm -hmm. and his affiliation, you know, who Orlando is and everything else like that, leading up to all the drama that happened between Bad Boy and Death Row right. to the night of the actual murder and then what happened afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, although there's been other pieces, he did the BET thing. He, of course, has the proffer agreement with you. I think this was the first piece that really told the whole thing from beginning to end and then was put out publicly and millions and millions and millions of people got to see it. And, you know, from what I understand, I know someone that's talked to the detective at, you know, Las Vegas and he said, yeah, that was the interview that kind of got them interested mm -hmm. in really picking up the case okay. and so forth. So when I say I essentially solved it, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I mean. I, I don't take any issue with it um, okay. at all. So just so you know, I'm glad that you know that you have a platform and that you can provide information to all of these curious people about what happened. 
Yeah. So it's, yeah, I mean, I'd awesome. been hearing about the story in LA for years and years and years, and it wasn't until I heard the actual confession tapes, and then I managed to get a hold of Keefe. Yeah. And he agreed to do the interview because the book was had either dropped or was about to drop. Mm. It was very close to that same gotcha. time. His co-writer was right there in the room. And uh, I'm like, look, I mean, if you wrote a book and you want to talk about what you wrote in the book, right? who right. am I to say I'm not going to do an interview about yeah. that? Well, if I've ever said anything disparaging no, towards, okay. towards those, you know, yeah. towards that claim, um, listen, it's, I don't, I'm just glad somebody's being held accountable. I'm glad that QVD is being, you know, charged with Tupac's murder. And so if everybody collectively contributed towards that, then, then, uh, then that's great. Everybody should. Um, everybody should be elated that, you know, somebody after all of these years is facing justice.